Hi, in this video we will talk about uh, Laplace expansion. Basically, you already know that we need determinants to um, find inverse matrix uh, or for some other cases. So determinants are important. We know how to compute determinants for matrices which are three by three or smaller. And now we will learn a method which can be used for matrices of any size. So in practice, uh, in, uh, in, in practice, you can use them for any matrices, uh, four by four matrices, five by five matrices, or even bigger uh, matrices. So let's jump to uh, to our uh, to our blackboard. So Laplace expansion. What is the general idea? Basically. Uh, we use uh, determinants of smaller matrices, which are inside our bigger matrix, to compute determinant of a bigger matrix. So basically we have a big matrix, we want to compute determinant of this matrix, and we use parts of this matrix and determinants of these smaller parts to compute this determinant. So these smaller parts are called, called submatrices, and to obtain this submatrix, you simply delete a row or a column from a matrix. So let's have a look at an example. Imagine we have a four by four matrix and let's say we want to create a sub matrix uh, with one row and one column deleted. Uh, we just have to remove one row, one column and leave the rest of the elements there. So for example, if we want to remove uh, row number three and uh, column number four, we create something like this. So an index, uh, first index tells us which row we want to delete. Second index tells us uh, which column we want to delete. And then we simply have to imagine, I mean, we, we will do it in this case in, in, in our, on our blackboard, but uh, in, in practice, you can just imagine deleting this row, deleting this column. And then you have to just write down uh, the elements which are left in the matrix. And that's all. So these are uh, submatrices. Quite simple. Okay, so now when we have this, uh, we understand what are the submatrices, we can talk about the steps of Laplace expansion. So let's copy our matrix and let's think about uh, the steps. So the first step, is actually creating, writing down, or actually later on when you get a hang of it, imagining a helper mat matrix. And what do I mean by helper matrix? Basically, you create a matrix which is exactly of the same size as your matrix you want to find the determinant of. You write down plus sign in the uh, left upper corner of this matrix. And then you simply create a pattern plus, minus, plus, minus, and so on, and so on. And basically, you cannot have two pluses next to each other and two minuses next to each other. So this is our helper, helper matrix. As you can see, it's quite simple. It's, if we had a matrix which was four by four, right now we again, we also have a matrix which is four by four. It's simply filled with pluses and minuses. Uh, and as I said, you start with a plus in the left upper corner, always, doesn't matter what was the matrix sign, uh, mat matrix size, uh, and then simply go plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, and so on. So as I said, also quite easy. Okay, so this is the first step. Uh, then we have the next step, which is simply choosing uh, any row or any column uh, in both matrices. So for instance, here uh, I have chosen this column uh, and I will be using uh, this column. This is the second column of my matrix A. I also uh, denoted this column, like highlighted this column in my helper matrix. And I will be using these columns to compute the determinant. Uh, but in theory, you can choose any row or any column. It doesn't matter which one you will choose, you will get the same result. Okay, and then uh, there is the, this final step, which is the, the longest one. So basically, 
uh, compute determinant of uh, sub-matrices uh, and use them to uh, get the final answer of our determinant. And now, how this actually works. So, basically, uh, to get the determinant of A, we have to go through this column, uh, these columns we have highlighted. Uh, so, the column or row you have chosen. In our case, this is the second column. And you have to go through all of the elements and for each element, you have to analyze uh, respective submatrix. So let's do this. Um, so first of all, we have to check the sign uh, in the um, helper matrix. So in this case, the sign is minus. So we write down minus sign. Uh, then we have to check uh, the value, which we have to write uh, down. Uh, and we have to check it at the same place so the first element of our column. So the first element in our helper matrix was minus uh, here, and the first element in our matrix will be uh, three. So as you can see, we are choosing three. We write down three, and then we have to compute the determinant of a, of a of a sub matrix. And how do we create this sub matrix? Well, we were using the element three here, the first element of our column. So what we have to do uh, is to delete the row in which this three is and delete the column in which this three is and keep the rest. So as you have seen, we have to delete this row, delete this column and leave all of the other elements. So let's do it. We should be left with zero, two, minus four, uh, then 3, 2, and 1, and finally 1, 3, and minus 2. Okay, so this is our first, uh, first submatrix, first element from our chosen column. And then we repeat this pattern for, for all of the elements in our column. So in our case, we'll have to do this thing four times. If the matrix was bigger, we would have to do it more times. So if matrix, if the matrix was six by six, then we would have to do it for six elements. Okay, so let's do it. So we have plus sign. Okay, we write down plus. Uh, we have one, so we write down one. Uh, and this one should be multiplied by the determinant with second row deleted and second column deleted. So 2, minus 1, 5 in the first row, uh, 3, 2, 1 in the second row, and 1, 3, minus 2 in the third row. And then we repeat this. So minus 0 uh, multiplied by the determinant, and to get this determinant, we have to delete the third row and second column. So 2, minus 1, and 5. Uh, 0, 2, minus 4, and 1, 3, minus 2. And then finally, we have to do the same thing for uh, the last element of our column. So plus sign, uh, then the value of the element, so 0, mm, and then this 0 multiplied by the determinant of a matrix, which we get by deleting, removing the fourth row and second column. So we will have 2, minus 1, 5, 0, 2, and minus 4, and finally 3, 2, and 1. Okay, and uh, as you can imagine, we can uh, easily simplify this uh, formula we have here. We will have to uh, write uh, down uh, we, ha we will have to figure out what are the determinants of these three by three matrices, but we know already how to do it. But also, since we know that the determinant uh, of any matrix is a number, uh, we may not know what is this number uh, in, for instance, this case or this case, but since we are later on multiplying this number by zero, we will get 
0 no matter what is the actual value of this determinant. So we can simplify this uh, big formula uh, by just ignoring these parts because this will be 0 and this will be 0. So let's do this. Uh, so we can keep only the uh, first two terms and then what we can do is to use the trick method we know for 3x3 free free matrices uh, to compute the determinant. But in theory you can use either Laplace expansion again to compute these two determinants uh, or you can use the trick method. So as you remember the trick method works like this, that uh, we multiply uh, first in di this direction, then we uh, multiply in this direction, we have to sum these things up, mm, uh, subtract uh, these things which are going in this direction and get the result. I will not be going into details because there is a separate video as you know uh, about this method, you already know this method, so you can just trust me with these computations, there are here, they are here there for you to check your results. I, I encourage you to do this example on your own uh, as well. But basically, you can, what is important here to remember, you can use either Laplace expansion again or some trick method to compute these smaller determinants. And finally, when we have values of these determinants, we go back to uh, our uh, we go back to our uh, equation and we solve this uh, we solve this formula by substituting the values we did get for smaller determinants and of course we can simplify this and as a result in this case we get 56 so the method is rather simple i mean if you think about it it's easy to learn these steps. Uh, the only problem is it takes some time to actually compute this. So uh, you have to practice and uh, get used to it. And then you will be doing this faster and faster. So finally, uh, some few tips about um, Laplace expansion. So first of all, remember that you can choose uh, whichever row or whichever column you want. So it doesn't matter which one you will choose, you will get the same result. You can check uh, with this example, you should get the same result. If you didn't, then you must have made the mistake. Uh, second tip connected actually with this one. Uh, usually the best option is to choose a row or column which has the uh, highest number of uh, zeros. So uh, as you can check, this was actually what we did in this uh, video. Uh, the reason is quite simple, as we have experienced here, if we have many zeros in this row, then we have less smaller determinants to compute. So we can just forget about some parts of our formula uh, and uh, focus on only these ones, which uh, these determinants, which were multiplied by values which were not zero. And finally, uh, the last tip is practice. I mean, this is a very mechanic method. You have to just memorize it and do many, many, many examples. Get, you will get used to it and then you will be fine. So it's nothing difficult. You just have to practice. Okay, so that's all about Laplace expansion. Uh, we will see each other in next videos. I, ho I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, as I said, it's rather simple method, so you shouldn't have problems with that. If you have, uh, write uh, in comments or uh, get to us through some other channel and we will discuss it. So uh, see you in the next videos.